so in this video we will be seeing how to inject the shellcode in the remote process for that we need to get the process handle and allocate some memory to host our shellcode and then writing our shellcode onto that memory region and then finally creating the remote thread so first we need to get the handle of the process we will be using the open process function I have already imported all of these functions from the windows api create and i also imported this uh, shellcode that will uh, pop up the calculator so first let's go and get the handle so open process and we have arguments the desired access with what access we want to open so we'll be using the process all access and inherit handle false and the process id that is the uh, id of the process we want to get the handle on so the first one is this one copy this and you need to add all of these to get this value for the process all access so uh, remove these uh, zeros and put f so now this is the value for process all access now inherit handle is false and the process id let pid is equals to let's say 100 for now will be changing after our program has been completed uh, we are getting error here expected i32 found bool so uh, zero i guess okay so the return value from this function is proc handle so the handle to the process you can see the address of this process uh, we will be using virtual alloc x function to allocate a uh, memory region in the process so we need to pass the first one is the process handle proc handle comma and second one is the address where we want to uh, allocate uh, we can say null and the OS decides where to allocate std pointer null underscore mutable and then shown is size how much size we want to allocate so shellcode dot length and the allocation type is uh, mem commit and the protection type is read write execute so we should be good to go and the return value from this function is starting address let's say base pointer to that memory region and now we want to copy our uh, shellcode into that memory region so we can use the function write process memory and as usual first parameter is uh, handle to the process and second one is the base address which is the base pointer and the third one is the buffer so so this is a, a constant raw pointer so we can say shell code dot as pointer as constant c underscore void and the size is shell code dot length and number of bytes written so we can uh, ignore this one so we can say zero as uh, star mute i32 uh, expected raw pointer u size so u size so we are just simply ignoring this one so we have written our uh, shellcode into that remote process we need to create a thread to execute the shellcode create remote thread and the first one is obviously our process uh, handle and the second one is the thread attributes we can pass null and stack size is 0 and starting address uh, we can use 
sum so in previous video we have seen the create thread function this is uh, similar to that one the same parameter the option enum contains sum or none so uh, sum we need to pass the value into this sum so sum uh, transmute of base pointer so this will automatically transmute into that uh, extern function that takes uh, mutable raw pointer and uh, returns uh, i32 and the next one is uh, parameter so we can also pass this one null underscore mutable and thread id so uh, we don't want any thread id so 0 as u32 I think we are good to go. We are getting some errors. Okay, we missed one parameter. So creation flags. Okay. Zero comma. So now this should do good. So finally we can close the process handle so i think we are good to go now so let's go and run this so let's go cargo run release uh, before that uh, let's open a powershell 64 bit version and the process the uh, sorry copy the process id and paste it here so you can also add the command line argument for the program to take in command line argument um, the process id so let's go and run this one so okay let's go and turn off this defender and let's run this and we can see the calculator has been popped up so this is how you inject the shellcode into remote process using windows api